This would be a great thing to do with your kids. Everyone is staying home right now. You want to do some homeschooling. I just got out to the barn and checked this out. Mr. Rooster made it to the other side. Look at that. Our little kids are growing up. Oh, it's so cool. Will he let me pet him? I put him up there, so he might let me pet him. Yeah, it's okay. Don't be mean. There we go. Yeah, you gotta teach him how to be nice. Yeah, show him love. And they love you. Huh. Good chickens. There's the Bets. What's up, boss Betsy? You've got a whole family now, huh? Look at them, they're running all over the place. Huh? Yeah. So it's been 24 hours and we have settling. It's, excuse me, my uh, former neighbor, she makes the world's most wonderful flavored cashews, flavored baked cashews, some form of spice and salt. And she made me uh, a jar and I have not been able to put it. I, it's hard for me to stop eating it. <laughs> gives, gives a little hiccup there. All right. So anyway, it's been 24 hours and the dirt has settled. Now, there's no good way for me to show you this. So what I'm going to do is just point, but there's really no gravel or anything in this dirt. It's all, all the heavy stuff settled. And right about here, right there, is what is probably clay. And just based on this, so I'll kind of do a quick measurement here. That is about a half inch. And we'll just, just round it to make it easy. So uh, we'll say that the whole thing is about two and a half inches. So a half inch of it is clay. And out of two and a half. So what is that? That is 20% clay and I think that's probably going to work for us but I got to do some research research first uh, for our rammed earth project I also um, when I was looking up kind of reviewing how to do this uh, particular method of testing your dirt uh, it said to put some soap in there and I did not do that so I'm going to redo this test and we're going to check on it again after I put the soap in and it says that you should put in Oh, it says powdered dishwashing detergent, but I don't have that. But I got some soap soap. Uh, so we'll see how, how that works. And I'll try this again. All right, soap is in. Just see some foam. Whoa, whoa. Clearly not closed. Almost got on my SD cards. That would have been bad. Right, luckily we have cleanup capabilities now in shop 2.0. Oh, I think it's because there's dirt in the uh, thread, so we'll probably have to do this. A yeah, little bit of fuzzy in there now from the bubbles. A little bit of fuzzy. That's probably just to break the tension, I guess, surface tension. I mean, that's what soap does, changes surface tension with the liquid. That must be... Okay, well there's bubbles and stuff happening up in there now. Let's shake it real good. Like a, like a margarita or some form of cocktail, only it's really disgusting looking. Not something you want to drink. Okay, there we go. Now it says, one tablespoon, yeah, we cap the jar, shake vigorously, set on level surface and time for one minute. All right, timer. Okay, and give her another shake. Just to start the clock, yeah. That is some nasty stuff. Okay, ready, begin. So now what it says to do for testing your dirt 
is you're going to let it go for a minute and then after a minute that is the salt you're supposed to put a mark on and that's the solids which is coarse sand layer that is going to take a while i am not seeing it. it's got to be there it looks like the whole darn thing you know what i'm not happy with that we're going to stop that i don't think there's enough water in there I'm going to do this again. I want to get it right. This would be a great thing to do with your kids. Everyone is staying home right now. You want to do some homeschooling? Go out, test your dirt. It'd be a great. I'd like it. It would have been fun. Okay. There we go. That's shaking. Ready. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that makes a huge difference. So it looks like a majority of this is going to be coarse sand. So we go for a minute. This is the coarse sand layer that's settling out. Oh my goodness, it is like, it's right here right now. Coming up on a minute. Mr. Computer. 14 seconds. Okay. Oh yeah, that is really settling out. Gotta get you a shot. Alright, so here we go. It's been a minute. Yeah, that is like eight ounces right there. Okay, so now it says two hours. I don't know how long. Leave jar and level spot for two hours. The silt layer is next, so two hours. That'll be five, four, five, six, six o'clock. Yeah, wow, okay. Oh, that's working way better than the first one. I'm so glad I redid this. So I'm on rammedearthworks.com and I'm looking at the ratio for rammed earth in order for it to work. And it says the clay sand ratio has the greatest contributing effect on how well an earth wall will perform. Traditionally for raw rammed earth, that ratio has been established at 30% clay and 70% sand. So we shall see how ours does. Uh, when using cement as a stabilizer, clay content can be reduced in some cases, and with high stabilization rates, clay and other fines can be as low as 8 to 10 percent. So we are going to be measuring the sand layer, coarse sand layer, the silt layer, and then we'll be doing the clay layer, which will settle on top of all of that. And the whole process is going to take us 48 hours to go through, following the instructions exactly as they say, which is just amazing, seeing how this thing is separating. Let me show you, get the light again here and help you out. So this right here is water separating out. The sand is definitely down here. So we got some interesting stuff set, taking place up here as it separates out. These are all bubbles up on top. This is just the soap. That soap made a huge difference in doing the test. What is the physics of that? Yeah, it's soap changes the surface tension. It's making it easier for stuff to flow through. It's, it's making it easier for the heavy stuff to go to the bottom and it's making it harder for the lighter stuff to go to the bottom, which gives you the striation. That's what my thinking recollects. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay, yeah, so that's cool, man. That is way cool. Very neat. Well, it has been not 48 hours, but it's been almost a week now, and I've actually let it settle out quite a bit. You can see here how clear that is. And what we have, kind of pointing it out, from here to here is a sand layer 
from here to right about here is a silt layer and from there up to the top which is geez that's like a eighth of an inch maybe a sixteenth of an inch uh, is clay so these ratios uh, I need to measure them real quick and uh, we'll get the ratios here our total distance it's still two, two and a half total. The sand layer is one and five eighths. The silt layer is seven eighths. I think that gives us a one eighth. Yep, yeah, one eighth. One eighth for, for that. So if we do those ratios real fast, 65% sand. 35% silt. Wait, those two things add up. That's not right. Yeah, that ain't right at all. I measured wrong. See, I always measure wrong. <laughs> I was always measuring wrong. One and five eighths. Right. Something's wrong here. Come on, Jeff. 62% sand. 33% and 5%. 5% clay is what we got. 62%, 33%, 5%. So then on this website, this is uh, hgic.clemson.edu forward slash fact sheets forward slash soil texture analysis, the jar test. So just look up Clemson and the jar test. Uh, it's the, the instructions that I followed. But what's really cool is I got this triangle that's on here uh, that you use to figure out uh, what type of soil you have based on these three measurements and it kind of it's a it's a rough way to do it you could if you really want to know everything you got to send this all to a lab you can see how slow my internet is oh my it's one of the bad things about living out in the middle of nowhere your internet sucks so again clay sand ratio has the greatest contributing effect on how well an earth wall will perform traditionally for raw rammed earth that ratio has been established as 30 percent clay 70 percent sand so that means uh, that our dirt in this location is 5% clay, 62% sand. So that's yeah, not going to work. We need 70, 30 sand clay. 33% silt down to 5% right there. And then 60, 62%, 62%. Yeah, so we're in the sand, the loamy sand. We have loamy sand. That's the type of soil that this came out to be is loamy sand. Hardly any clay at all, which is actually quite shocking given how this stuff works during the winter time when it gets all ch chunky and everything. So I'm, I'm not certain, and that's why we gotta do this test again, but I'm not certain that the wind, the fact that I took this off the top didn't have an impact. I, I think maybe it really did. Uh, and the fact that that was all excavated dirt and it was, a, it was sitting there for a long time, had the wind blowing over the top of it, it may have removed some stuff because you can see dirt. Uh, I say that because we get a lot of wind here. Uh, you've seen that in my videos. It is really windy here and it spins up uh, dirt devils all the time and it's moving. You can see just <sighs> the dust blows away. So I, it's definitely prudent to do this test again. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here uh, i'm going to go out today and i'll take another sample we'll go through the test again and i'll come back to you in a few days and let you know i've also been brought to my attention that maybe hay bales uh, would be a way to go so give me your thoughts uh, the rammed earth root uh, seller hay bale root seller um, who has experience leave your comments down below and uh, we'll see how this all goes in the meantime you can follow us on facebook twitter and on instagram uh, and if you really like what we're doing, you can help us out on Patreon for the cost of less than a candy bar per month. In the meantime, this is Real Martian. Out.